In this interactive video you will learn how to select entities. Some of the most important selection options are explained by masking elements. In one of the videos, you have seen that you can control the model display by using the mask by config browser or by clicking on the icons next to the collector shown in the model browser. However, if you wish to take off just some single entities from the display, these options are not appropriate. The option mask should be used instead. In order to enhance the picking of individual elements, we are zooming in on the model by using the control key and the wheel of the mouse. Before masking any entities, we should have a look at the panel layout first. Please note the cyan colored frame surrounding the so called input collector. Here, the input collector is currently on elms. The cyan frame surrounding the input collector tells you, so to speak, that Hypermesh expects your input here, namely, a selection of elements. If you wish to mask other entities, you first need to activate the toggle on the left side of the input collector. Activating this toggle will open a pop-up window, listing all kind of entities, such as lines, surfaces, solids, loads and so on. After you have selected the type of entity you are interested in, the input collector panel will be updated accordingly. You will see these steps in a few minutes. But now, let us select some elements with a left mouse click. Now click the highlighted mask button. Instead of clicking on each element individually, let us view other options, which will allow us to select more entities in a single step. By clicking on the input collector, we are opening up the so-called extended selection menu. Please note the syntax. Starting in the left lower corner, we read, select elements by window so all we need to do is draw a window left click with your mouse to specify the start of the window the following clicks will define the contour of the selection window All elements having their center within the selection window are selected and highlighted. Now mask the selected element. Instead of activating the extended selection menu, you may use the shift key in combination with the left mouse button. Again you're creating a selection window. Pretty fast and helpful. Now mask the selected elements. Let's select some elements individually again. What about deselecting entities? In general, this can be accomplished by clicking on the selected entity with your right mouse button. However, in the video you will need to use your left mouse button. For the moment, we will keep on playing with masking elements. Let us assume that we want to add an additional row of elements linked to our current selection. Note, even though we are in the mask panel, this process can be applied in other panels as well. For instance, ray meshing a selected set of elements, or finding elements located in the neighborhood of poor quality elements, and so on. And now, let us add an additional row of elements. Again, note the sentence, select elements by adjacent. The selection method, by adjacent, adds elements located in the immediate vicinity of the previous selection. Note. The additional elements have to be linked to the previous selection. In the message bar, we can read, 8 elements added, total selected 9. Now mask the selected elements. Now let's unmask all of the elements that have been masked. Let us fit the model to the screen by clicking on the corresponding icon. Alternatively, you may also use the F button on the keyboard. 